what I'll be doing today, and I'm going to walk you through my steps, is I will be installing the Pepwave 7-in-1 antenna. And I'm excited about this because this will get rid of those antennas inside and I will be hooking directly up to my Pepwave router. But what I want to do today is I want to improve conductivity while on the road. So I already have a Pepwave router and this thing is incredible. This is the um, dual band uh, Cat6. So it actually has the capability um, to take two different cell provider cards and and multiplex those signals together which has been incredible and so what I'm doing today I did I kind of have been evolving and so at first I just had a cell boost and then I installed the router with its antennas you know coming the seven different antennas six antennas plus the GPS cord and that signal was um, it was working okay but what I'll be doing today, and I'm going to walk you through my steps, is I will be installing the Pepwave 7-in-1 antenna. And I'm excited about this because this will get rid of those antennas inside, and I will be hooking directly up to my Pepwave router. And um, basically this has two leads each for the uh, cell signals. So there's four cables there. And then it additionally, it has a Wi-Fi uh, boost, which is for the 2.4 gigahertz and also the 5 gigahertz. And um, there's also a GPS, that's the 7 and 1. So I'll be walking you through the steps of how I'm going to determine where I'm going to put it in the truck camper. Um, I'm going to try and put it in as nice as possible. The only tools that I should need today, besides the antenna, I'm going to have to drill a hole. Um, this is an inch and three quarters bit that will actually receive the diameter of what's going to go onto the roof. Now, watching a bunch of other installation videos myself, it looks like I can just use, I've already adhered the um, 3M tape to the bottom of the antenna. And then what I'll be doing is I'll put a bead of silicone around, around the, the base where the nut is and then um, I will just be sticking it directly to the roof and then I will also be you know finishing off with the self leveling die core so the die core will be the last step and uh, right now it's raining outside so we're going to do this in two parts um, then in, when I get inside the goal is going to be to bring this right in through um, a spot where it's it's in the cabinet itself so we're not going to see it. I do think, now the nut is not required. Then what I'll be doing is I'll be routing it in some track that I purchased to hide the cord. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come into the cabinet and then I'm going to run it along the top of, there's already a white, a white beam. I believe there's a steel beam to hold the camper together. And then the TV is over here on the, on the right. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll tie into that or the 12 volt system that is actually feeding the power to the TV and then this this will be running off my batteries welcome to day two so today's the day it stopped raining you might hear some of that in the video um, that we cut yesterday but what I'm going to do today is I, I need to locate as best I can where I want to come or penetrate this roof so I'm gonna measure as close as I can to the outside of this camper to the shelf because what I want to do is come down on the inside here um, so that it's hidden where I penetrate the roof. Okay, the other measurement that we need to be concerned with is the distance from this window to this dividing point. And this is really the only point that I'm going to be able to see when I get on the roof. Um, there's other stuff on the roof like the solar panels and then if you look up here there's this metal bar uh, that separates the over cab from the rest of the camper so i need to avoid these points so the point of reference i'm going to use is this window and i can tell right now that i have about 
five to six inches um, to avoid. So when I get up on the roof, I'm going to I'm going to look over the edge to align myself and then know that I can go forward of this window f about five inches and then see what else is on the roof that I'm going to need to avoid. OK, here we are on the roof. So there's solar panels and other obstacles up here. But if you remember from the inside dimension, um, I'm going to line up on the the window itself is right in this line. So remember I had between five and six inches I could go. So coming away from here, I'm gonna go 10 inches. I've got an inch and three quarters bit. And the first thing I wanna do is, and I've kinda of already marked it out, I'm gonna follow this circle here. Um, I had the disc that came with the antenna, that 3M disc. It wasn't glued yet, so I came up and I wanted to see how close I was going to be to the solar panels. So the first step here, we're going to drill down. I'm going to drill in, and then I want to see where the hole ends up. That'll give me a chance to adjust it if I need to. Okay, as you can see, I drilled through the, the camper. Now what I want to do is go down and see where that fell on the inside. So I'll be back. So there's the drill bit. As you can see, I'm pretty good distance-wise. That's in a nice clean area, and I'll be able to drill a bigger hole. I drilled my pilot hole. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of tape around this. Okay, I just put that tape on there to try and make a little bit cleaner edge. This is a metal roof. If this was a rubber or some other texture, what I would do is use my razor blade knife to try and cut out around it first. But since this is a metal roof, um, I think I can just go straight, straight to the uh, hole saw. So I'm using an inch and three quarter. This is the size that should penetrate, you know, with the uh, antenna. I'm going really slow in case there's something there. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down to the bottom and I want to drill a hole coming up so that I get a nice clean finish on the inside as well. I had almost drilled all the way through, so glad I was going slow. Let there be sunlight. Now while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and drill my hole through this panel so that I can get the cable on the other side of this beam. Okay, the next step is I'm going to use a little bit of just standard rubbing alcohol just to make sure that it's clean up here so that I get good adhesion. Be careful around that edge because it's metal and it's sharp. There's two things I want to do right now. First, I'm going to put a bead of a clear silicone. It's actually a sealant and glue. I'm going to put that around the base here. And then I will, first I'll take my 3M tape off. Um, actually, I'll probably fish this through. And then I'll take off this tape. I'll put the glue on and then I'll press down on the antenna. Taking the tape off. It's a nice warm day. So that'll be good for adhesion. This, this tape does better. This is just an extra precaution, not really required, just figured I had it, why not use it? Just gonna press it down for a few seconds. Okay, so now I'm gonna use some of this Dicor self-leveling um, sealant. And basically it's the same stuff that's used on all the other roof intrusions.
the hard work is done. We got a hole and seemingly we didn't hit anything important, so that's great. We've routed it inside. I'm getting ready to put this track on. Now I just clamped the track together. It's got an adhesive back. It also has some spots to screw some screws in. I think I'm just going to try the, um, the double-sided tape first. So I, I snapped it on because it seems to me it would be a little easier to do this while it's in my hands before I put it up on the wall. And then I'm going to need to leave a little gap so that I can get that top cover off if I need to do maintenance. So I'm going to take the adhesive backing off and I'm going to align this leaving a little gap and I'm going to use my icrometer okay. and then I'm going to do the next section. Okay, the final stage is to take PEP Wave router and tie it to the antennas. They're all marked, both on the device and the cables are marked themselves. So there's uh, two channels for each cell. So there's four of those and there's two of the Wi-Fi connections and then there's one GPS. I want the Wi-Fi too. Just finger tight. You don't want to over tighten these. Well, the installation is done. Hopefully this is helpful for you. Um, you'll be able to see that I was not able to use the nut on the bottom um, because it was just too thick, which I guess that's a good thing. This is an all season camper. Um, a nice clean routing through into this other bay and then it tracks right on through and then having put in the track um, that all worked out nice and my final installation I ended up moving the pep wave into the closet itself um, primarily because the cords would have interfered with the, um, the door opening. Um, I just had to drill another hole to get my DC power for my TV up to it. Thanks for joining me on this journey. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe. There'll be more to follow on different topics. Um, you can also set the alarm so you get notified when we do do a posting. So have a great day and God bless America.